Good morning. This is, uh, we took the, the babies out of the incubator, which was on lockdown. And so far we've got 43 in the brooder. And there's still a few of them hatching out in the incubator. I had to add a little more warm water. Uh, I've got a little tray for their feed. And they'll start exploring. To get the feed and with the water I have the water about 90 degrees and I add two teaspoons of sugar to it and mix it all up and that way it gives them energy so but I do that for the first two days you can see they're wandering around looking and they're also staying together to keep warm I have a towel on the top and I also have a, a gauge it's 84 degrees, almost 85 degrees in there right now. I just put them in there. I should have warmed it up a little bit, but it'll warm up. Right now they're searching for food, and I'm going to help them out after I'm done with the video and finding the food tray. I'll put a couple in there and the rest of them will all follow. All right, I thought you'd like to see them on after lockdown in the brooder. This is a good sized brooder. It's a plastic tote. If you saw my, saw my last video, it's a plastic tote. And I took and put a wooden ring around it with inch screen. So in case a cat gets up here and the screen goes between the goes between the boards, the wood and the plastic, and I have it screwed up into the board. So if a cat gets up here, they're not gonna fall or push the screen down in under the chicks and they won't be able to harass the chicks because this has four four locking mechanisms on the, the tote top so they can't even move the tote top which is good in case there's days like I have to go to the doctor or something and we aren't here to watch the cats we do throw the cats out when we catch them but sometimes they sneak by us and hide and we don't know they're in the house all right, I thought I'd let you see what they look like on their day out of the first day out of the lockdown. And we'll do another video once they start moving around. They're getting drinks and learning how to drink. And they're like a chicken. They're pretty competitive. They see one doing it and the other ones want to follow. So I put the water where they could all find it and get to it. And I'll put a few in the feeder. All right, this is Clay from Popel's Backyard Farm. And remember... You too, big or small, can be a backyard farm. Bye-bye.